Today, we're getting our hands on Hyper AI, one of the latest AI visual generators that is all the buzz. So grab your virtual surfboards, because we're about to ride this wave of AI video innovation. Keep in mind, all of the visuals you are now seeing have been created by Hyper AI. Pretty cool, right? So first up, for those not in the know, what is Hyper AI? Well, according to Hyper AI, they are a generative AI startup building perceptual foundation models for next generation visual content creation. With Hyper AI, you can turn your text into stunning videos with just a few clicks. It's like having a mini Hollywood studio in your pocket, minus the celebrity drama. The best part? It's free. I'm going to dive a bit deeper into Hyper AI, but if you want to go straight to setting up your account and creating videos, feel free to jump ahead to the next chapters. There will be links in the description. So here's a little more background on Hyper AI. They are working towards AGI or Artificial General Intelligence. AGI is a type of artificial intelligence that can perform as well or better than humans on a wide range of cognitive tasks. Hyper AI is building a proprietary model that very few in the space have been able to accomplish. They are growing, evolving, and aligning with a creator community at its center. Founded by alumni from Google DeepMind, TikTok, and top research labs from academia, Hyper AI brings both cutting-edge machine learning and a belief that creativity should be fun, surprising, and shareable. This has shaped its innovative approach to building Hyper as a powerful, industry-agnostic creativity tool, with fun and shareability in mind. This isn't just another app. It's a new way to bring your ideas to life. You give it a prompt, and it gives you a video. It's that simple. Their text-to-video feature is like having a little bit of magic at your fingertips. But it's not just about turning text into video. Hyper AI can take a single image and animate it, making your stills move and groove with an image-to-video feature that's pretty neat. And customization? Absolutely. Change up the look and feel of your videos with a few clicks using the repaint or restyle options. It's all about making it yours. Need more time to tell your story? The extended duration feature lets you do just that without rushing through the good parts. Where does hyper AI shine? In creating content that tells a story, whether it's a short film, a documentary, or an animation. It's also great for making promotional videos that really speak to people. For educators, it's a way to make learning fun and engaging, turning tutorials into something students will actually want to watch. And for all the creators out there, Hyper AI is a tool that helps you make standout content for platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok without the usual grind. Creating videos traditionally takes a lot of time and resources. Hyper AI is here to streamline that process giving you more room to be creative without breaking the bank. It's about exploring new possibilities and making videos that capture attention and imagination. Videos are a powerful medium, and Hyper AI helps you harness that power. I'm here to guide you through how Hyper AI works, step by step. Let's get started and see what we can create. Let's give it a try and let our creativity flow. Okay, now that we have a thorough understanding of Hyper AI's background, Let's go ahead and visit their website. I will put the link to Hyper AI in this video's description box. At the time of making this video, all features of the Hyper AI website are entirely free. But that may change and the layout of the website and workflow may change as well in the near future. Hyper AI's website has five main sections, explore, spotlight, creations, favorite, and profile. The Explore section showcases high-quality generated results from all users. You can also choose from a variety of modes to create in here, which will take you directly to the creation page. The Spotlight section allows you to submit a video for promotion on the Hyper AI platform. In the Creations section, you can select different generation modes to create and view the results. The Favorite section helps you collect and showcase exceptional video generation results. You can add to this section by clicking the heart icon locate next to a video. And finally, there is the profile section, which has information about your account. With all that being said, let's create an account and start exploring. On the home page, click on try for free. This will bring you to the explore page. 
From here, click on Login to Create. Now you will be prompted to create a free Hyper AI account with either your Discord or Google account. We'll go ahead and choose to sign in with Google, and that's it. You now have your free account, and we can start exploring and creating with Hyper AI. I recommend taking a look at the spotlighted creations when you get a chance. They showcase what is possible with the Hyper AI platform, as well as the incredible talent of the community, like this one. Or this one. Or this one. I was once a soldier. I unleashed hell for the glory of Rome. The thrill of victory was short-lived, as I found our beloved emperor had been murdered by a little weasel. A discovery that cost me everything. Isn't that awesome? Wow. You could spend all day or days on here just watching community creations if you wanted. Okay, so moving on. At the top of the Explore page, the main features of Hyper AI are listed. The four main features currently are, number one, create video with text, number two, animate your image, number three, repaint, and finally, number four, extend your video, which is marked as coming soon. On this page, you can also click on the thumbnails of these artworks and view them in large size and with more informational details. These details include the full text prompt, as well as an option to copy it for future use. There is also an ID number, seed number, and aspect ratio number that can be used to reference your creations. You'll see that the time and date of creation are also displayed. Along the bottom are a thumbs up and thumbs down to voice your approval or disapproval. There is also a heart icon, which when pressed allows you to add creations to your favorites. The next icon is an arrow pointing down which allows you to download a free MP4 of your video. And finally, there is a share button that lets you post your video creation across social media platforms like X or Facebook. You also have the option to copy the link to the video. Back in the main gallery, there is basic information below each thumbnail, including the username, the heart or favorite icon the download button to obtain the mp4 file of each video, and finally the share button. Okay, so the next section we're going to go over is the spotlight section. After clicking on spotlight on the left side menu, you will be taken to a page where you can submit your video creations to be showcased in the gallery at the top of the explore page. The application includes areas for your video title, description, and social media accounts. If you have any questions regarding the spotlight submission process, there is a Frequently Asked Questions section at the bottom of the page. Alrighty, so moving right along. Let's get to some more of the fun stuff and start creating our own videos, shall we? We'll go ahead and click on Creations in the left side menu. We will be brought to a page with four options. Create video with text, animate your image, repaint your video, and extend your video. First, we will learn more about create video with text. For our first example, we'll use the input of polar bear wearing headphones and playing guitar while sitting next to waterfall. We'll go ahead and click the create button and now we just wait while our video is being generated. Keep in mind, this may take a few minutes. And voila, here it is. That is just so cool, I think. Okay, so now that we have our very own video creation, Let's go over the three main components on the creation page. The first is the central area, where you view your video generation results. The second, the input bar, which is at the bottom center of your screen and is where you enter the description of the generation you want. The third is the generation history of all your previous creations, and it displays on the right side. Let's go over the input bar in more detail. 
The icon on the left end of the component displays your current creation mode. You can also switch between creation modes by clicking on it. The central area of the component is the text input region, where you should input all text prompt here. For stylization options, click on the upward pointing arrow to display various styles. You can click on the keywords to choose a specific style for your generation result. When you click on your choice, it will automatically append a series of keywords to your text input. Let's go ahead and choose the Ghibli option. You will see here it adds the description to you text input. And now we'll use the same polar bear description from before. This time though, it will be in a Ghibli style. With these keywords, click generate and you'll see the video result in the specific style. We just wait for the video to once again cue and generate. And here it is. Behold our polar bear playing a guitar by a waterfall in the Ghibli style. Pretty awesome, right? The current styles that Hyper AI has are black and white film, background blur, watercolor, impressionism, cyberpunk, steampunk, arcane style Ghibli and Lego. This is constantly being updated, so stay tuned for more styles in the future. Okay, so next, let's go over the Animate Your Image Generation mode. We'll click the Creation Mode button at the top of the screen and then select Animate Your Image. Keep in mind, you can also click on the Select Generation icon on the left side of the input bar to access the four featured modes and choose from there. Next, you can either click to upload your image or drag and drop your image to the input bar to upload. Here is my image. Next, click on the text input area in the input bar and enter your description prompt for your desired video outcome. I already have my prompt ready. It will read, look enticingly at the camera while hair is blowing in the wind. Then I will click on the eye icon and select for my generation to be private. If you would like your video to possibly be shown on the Explore section, you can click this on to public. Then I will click on the Settings button and select the duration to be four seconds. Then I will click on the Create button. Now we just wait for the video to generate. And here we have it. Pretty awesome, right? It turned out just how I imagined. Keep in mind that you have the option to add it to your favorites by clicking the heart icon and you can also download it if you like by pushing the down arrow icon. Now let's explore the next creation mode by clicking on the creation mode button at the top of the screen. This time we will choose the repaint your video template. This opens up the option to upload a video that we would like to change. We'll choose this one from our example before. After the video is finished uploading, we go to the text input bar and type out a description of the change you want to see in your video. So for our example, we'll type, make her eyes green. We'll leave the other options the same. We'll make it private and choose for the length to be four seconds long. Then we'll click on the create button. Hyper AI will then change you video according to the prompt you typed out. And there we have it. That's quite the repainting, right? And there we have it, folks. The end to our beginner Hyper AI tutorial. I hope you found value in this video. Oh yeah, make sure you check out Hyper AI's blog, which you'll find in the lower left-hand corner. It has a variety of more advanced tutorial to get you started on your video creation journey with Hyper AI. If this helped you out, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me out. Till next time, thank you for watching and happy video creating.